<laughs> what are we doing? Are we are we fi are we fishing or are we ride? Yeah, yeah. Are we riding we that ride. pony. We ride. We ride. We ride. We ride. Okay, we're last going. <laughs> All right, good. John, I have a rare correction to make. You know, I I, I have I have never made a mistake on the show before. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure how to deal with this right now. But during the monologue, I you know remember the Irish gymnast who was jumping yes. up on, oh, the, on the bed, on, the, yeah. on the cardboard bed and saying, "I'm yes. sure it's sturdy enough to have sex on." Mm -hmm. He was implying. Yes. Uh, I, I, I mispronounced his name. I, I called him, I believe I called him Ryan McClanahan. Yes, I'm right. <laughs> his name is, is not Ryan. It's Reese. Reese? Reese? It's Reese McClanahan. <laughs> I think I don't care. Yes. I do. Yes. You know, folks, I spent a lot of time standing right over there, okay? <laughs> Setting up my news easel, laying out the most topical brush strokes, choosing the most relevant colors, all to faithfully capture for you the soul of the stories of the day in the oil on canvas masterpiece that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks. <laughs> I set a liquor store on fire and come back the next day to scrape some charcoal off the burnt timbers. Use the cardboard from the discarded refrigerator box I've been calling home for the weekend, then harass tourists to etch the offensive boardwalk caricature of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. It's an oasis. It's an oasis in the desert is what it is. It's a cool drink of water. <laughs> gives hope. Gives hope to a weary nation. Meanwhile. Billionaire humanoid Jeff Bezos launches himself into space tomorrow morning, and he made the rounds today with his crewmates to discuss the most fascinating thing about space exploration, him. Everybody who has been to space, every astronaut comes back, and they say that it changed them somehow. I don't know how it's going to change me, but I know it's going to, and I'm excited to find out how. I don't know what it's going to mean for me. Everybody who's been to space says it changes them in some way, and I'm just really excited to figure out how it's going to change me. Personally, I hope it changes them into a person who pays any taxes. <laughs> but... Any one dollar. But the true star of the Blue Origin show is pioneering American aviator, 82-year-old Wally Funk. There she is. A name I assume she got after replacing Bootsy Collins in Parliament. <laughs> now, Funk... Funk was one of the so-called Mercury 13, 13 women who went through the rigorous Mercury training program, often surpassing the men, but were all denied the chance to be on the mission. But now she's going to space, and here she is talking to our good friend Gail King this morning. Now you're being described as the oldest person to go into space, which I think is very cool. But I feel like I'm 24. <laughs> it's great. Oh, yes. We all know feeling 24 is great, you know? Couldn't afford a car, selling T-shirts at an improv theater in Chicago. <laughs> Living in a friend's basement, trying to sell futon frames you made out of two-by-fours. Or so I am told. <laughs> Meanwhile, in order to change public perception of sharks, Australian scientists are seeking to rebrand shark attacks as interactions or <laughs> incidents. As in, I'm sorry, ma'am, a shark interacted with your husband's torso. And he is experiencing a not being alive incident. Scientists say attack is an unfair word because it implies sharks have the intention of hurting people. With one scientist adding, very rarely are humans consumed by sharks. <laughs> I'm gonna go with once is enough. I don't think people would feel great if the show came with a disclaimer, very rarely are audience members consumed by the host. <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, a global emoji trend report was just released revealing the most misunderstood emojis in the world. 
Apparently, among the most confusing emojis for users, the eggplant symbol edged out the peach. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Warning. Do not Google eggplant edges peach. <laughs> Meanwhile, a fingerprint found on a 500-year-old statue may belong to Michelangelo. Got him! <laughs> now we can finally solve the mystery of who made this Michelangelo statue. <laughs> so where exactly did the curators find this 500-year-old fingerprint? On the figurine's buttocks. <laughs> Finger on the butt, eh? <laughs> Clearly, Michelangelo had just read the July 1532 issue of Il Cosmopolitano. <laughs> Edizione sexy. That's a one a crazy chick. <laughs> Will it make him say that's a spicy amenable? <laughs> we'll be right back with MSNBC. <laughs>